Some of your biggest enemies be the people of your own household. Sometimes you wonder, why are these people even my family? They serve no purpose other than to gossip, hate, talk about you. They never come to you in your face to talk about you. But you always seem to hear about this through the grapevine. And it's frustrating. This is why a lot of you decided to move on, decided to, I guess, roll solo, not really have much to do with family. I think that it's a process that must happen. I think that the illusion of family is something we got from TV. The truth is, I believe for the most part, when we're on our own as adults, we're supposed to build our own family, have our own children, and do our own thing. That is the start of our family. But a lot of times we stay connected to the people we grew up with and we assume that these folks are our family and they're supposed to do everything perfectly the way we like it, but it's not that case. Everybody's different. And um, we have to live and learn. A lot of you been let down by your family. They haven't been supportive of you. They hardly ever even acknowledge you. But you're accustomed to this idea of family and you want it to work. But it seems like no matter how much you try to communicate with relatives and see eye to eye on different issues, it don't seem to work, no matter what you do. You're considered the black sheep of the family. You are not looked upon as important. And in some instances, you find that certain family members that are not even really on the right path in life, they tend to get the attention, they tend to get the support. And you find that to be disgusting because it's like, damn, here I am doing my part, doing the best that I can to survive and be a productive citizen. And it seems as of though my immediate family don't seem to notice that. You can be as talented as you want. You can have good grades. Uh, could be working a good job. And it's like they never acknowledge you. It's like you're invisible to the family. But the people in the family that are in and out of prison, that don't work, that live off of other people, they get all the support. It's almost like the family baby, the people in the family that ain't ish. But because you are productive and have uh, a certain outlook on life to do greatness. They see you as a person that don't need any support, any help whatsoever. And I've experienced these things, too. I've experienced this a lot. I can go as far to when I was a, a young kid. And I was always into music, always into creativity and for whatever reason I can never really recall a time when my family was supportive of me concerning music I don't remember not one instance of family being supportive of that even back when we were all kids and we celebrated these pagan holidays I don't recall getting any gifts that supported my talent. Never had any words of affirmation. Never had any encouraging words of anything. It was almost as if though I was invisible. They know you're talented. They know you got something great in you, but they won't acknowledge it. It's almost like they don't want you to know that you got it. And a lot of you feel that way 
when it comes to where you are in life right now. You were raised in a time where it was like you were set apart without even knowing. You were walking alone in a world where family didn't even acknowledge you. They didn't even acknowledge your existence. It was like, okay, is anybody going to direct this young man? Is anybody going to direct this young lady to teach her the ins and outs? Or are we just going to let the world teach her on her own or teach him on his own? And this is why most of you actually raise yourself. Some of you raise yourself. If I was to ask you about your upbringing, you literally raise yourself as a young man, as a young woman. Um, you had to do everything yourself. Some of you had to cook breakfast for yourself because maybe mom was too busy. Maybe dad wasn't home or maybe dad was too busy and mom wasn't home. You had to learn how to cook dinner. Some of you had to raise your siblings because your parents was at work and it's like there was no real time. And then when it came to family gatherings, it was always a show of hypocrisy because family didn't really get along. You would have this group of family that was working with that group and it's like you knew that cousin and like that cousin and when they hang around each other, they would be over this side, but they wouldn't come on that side. And when we was kids, we seen these things. We knew these things. And it's like we were young, so we didn't really consider it a dangerous thing or something that was bad. We just figured this is normal. This is what family is about. But as we grew, we learned that family can be some of the the most interesting characters of all because they know you and yet they'll hate you at the same time. And then when they hate you, their excuse is that, well, we're family. So, and it's almost like they try to normalize this dysfunction and it, it shouldn't be that way. The greatest support base you should have right now is your family. Your family should be the greatest support base you have. But in today's culture, we can't even depend on family. We can't. You know? Some of you have totally disconnected from your family. For years, you've been by yourself, living your life, and for the most part, you've grew accustomed to be, being this way. And sometimes it could be a lonely road because it's like when you were young, you know, you hang with your cousins, you hang with your people and everything seems nice. But now it's like you're an adult. You, you realize that when you was a youth, it was an illusion. We all remember the good old days when we were kids. And we didn't have a care in the world. Play video games, play Nintendo, play freeze tag, hide and go seek. And do it all over again the next day. Have chips, quarter waters, go to the arcade room, play basketball, freeze tag, all sorts of crazy stuff. And we just had fun when we was kids. And then when we become adults and we look back and we realize that, wow, all of the cousins I grew up with, all of the family I knew, I don't know them anymore. You kind of reminisce. And in some cases, you kind of miss those good old days. And you wonder what happened. Well, what happened was you learned the truth. And the truth is what we call Family in today's day is not necessarily family. These are just people that I guess were around when you were growing up and you were taught that these folks are your family, but there was really no sense of family. 
it was just something we use as a word. There was no real meaning behind it. There was no real action behind us. You know, so what that did, it it caused us to repeat the same cycle where we would just look at anybody that's in our immediate family and just consider them family. But there was really no connection. Like you weren't really connected to your uncles. You didn't know your grandfathers, your grandmothers, your great grandmothers. You didn't really know these people. You never really had conversations with these people. You just kind of knew they were family. You knew you had an auntie. You knew the uncle and the nephews and the this and the that. You knew who these people were, but you didn't know them. When was the last time you actually spoke to these people? When was the last time you sat down and actually had conversations with uncles and grandmothers and all these different people and y'all really bonded and got to know each other? See, these things didn't happen. We just knew we had family, but there was really no connection. And that's why in today's day, family are most likely to betray you more than anybody else. And the reason why it's so easy for them to betray you and turn against you is because, again, you don't know them. You don't know who these people are. All you know is that they're your family. <laughs> that's why it's so easy for them to disconnect because there was really no connection to begin with. There was no connection to begin with. That's why it's so easy for your family members to betray you. They know all about you. They hear all the gossip about you. But at the same time, it's easy to let you go because they don't see no value in you. Because they never liked you and never wanted to be around you. It was just a title. And this is why as a man or a woman in today's day, you got to recognize when it's time to move on. When it's time to disconnect, if you're in a situation where your family is just not working with you, they're not supporting you, they're not encouraging you, they don't ever visit you, they don't call you, they don't, it's like you're not even alive. That's when you got to realize, I got to move on. Make your choice today.